This is CBS 2 News at 5. Still ahead on CBS 2 and CBSN New York today, granting the final wish of a Brooklyn woman and the baby she promised to protect. This is all I can do for her. Carry on this legacy for her. Coronavirus claimed a foster mother's life, but not her legacy. How her sister stepped in to help the little girl left behind. A Brooklyn baby's home life was not certain after a foster mother passed away from COVID-19. Tonight, CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez tells us how the woman's sister selflessly stepped in to help. Just days after 10-month-old Kaylin was born, she was placed in the care of her foster mother, Sharon Henry of Canarsie, Brooklyn. Marjorie Allen is Henry's sister. Joy, just pure joy. She loved this baby so much. She doesn't leave her anywhere unless she has to. It was her heart, her whole soul was this baby. But in April, when Kaylin was just six months old, 59-year-old Henry, who suffered from lupus, was hospitalized with COVID-19. We got the phone call that she passed. And and it was very devastating for the whole family. Henry left behind three grown children and little Kaylin. Her dying wish was to have the baby continue living in the Canarsie home Henry shared with her sister Marjorie Allen, their mother and children. Allen would become her new foster mom. And this is the last wish I would have been able to grant her was to take Kaylin, take care of her. And at some point she goes back to her mother. We had to do it. There was no hesitation, nothing. They reached out to Ola Coyote Ojo, their caseworker from the foster care agency Rising Ground. Keeping Kaylin with a family that already knows and loves her made perfect sense to everyone, including her birth mother. Now I assured her that this is a good family. They will continue to care for your child until she returns back to you. Yeah. And of course, she agreed with me. So this is really a godsend. This is, this is really the best possible situation that we could ever ask for. We were ecstatic. We, we were screaming. We were so happy. Caitlin is clearly happy too, thriving and growing. Alan finds comfort in knowing her sister would be proud. I love her so much. This is all I can do for her. Carry on this legacy for her. A legacy of love that now lives on in this beautiful baby girl. In Canarsie, Brooklyn, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. That face. <laughs> Sharon Henry would have celebrated her 60th birthday this month. Her whole family, including baby Kaylin's birth mother, will be gathering this weekend to honor her memory. Absolutely precious. I'm going to wake up to that face every day. Yeah, really. <laughs>